Uh, you know, there's plenty of seats in the plane. You can come over here and take uh, better seats. Thanks a lot. Okay, let me read a verse from the Word of God. If you have the Bible, please uh, turn with me to Psalms. Psalms 100. <laughs> Psalms 100, uh, verse 4. Enter into his gates of thanksgiving and into his courts of praise. Be thankful to him and the precious name. Praise the Lord. First of all, I am praising God for this good evening. I wish you all a very happy Thanksgiving. I am praising God for this beautiful church and the pastor and all the members of this congregation. May this place be a miracle center. May this worship center be a healing center. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I am greeting to you all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, parents, brothers, sisters, and children. I am very happy to see you all here in this evening. I am especially thanking to the to our sisters and the family who have prepared a special treat for us this evening. Are you hungry? Okay. You, you, so I guarantee that I won't be that long. Please give me a few minutes, you know. I don't have that many jokes as my brother said, but you know, I just want to bring your attention to the Word of God and to talk this evening about about, about my subject this evening is this one. Quit complaining. Try Thanksgiving. I repeat, you have to quit complaining and then you have to try Thanksgiving. Praise the Lord. That one is going to change your situation. Right? If you are with me, I'm going to show this from based on the word of God. Hallelujah. This is one of the Psalms written by David. David was a Hebrew poet. Hebrew name Psalms means praise. But most of the Psalms are elegy. It means mournful poems or funeral songs. But praise is echoed in all the Psalms. The best musical instrument to sing the Psalms is piano or violin. As I said, most of the Psalms echo praise, praise, Praise. Hallelujah. You know one thing? Every morning when you wake up, you wake up in a world of miracles. Do you know that? Every morning you see a miracle in this world. We are very familiar with the miracles in the Bible, you know? That Red Sea was parted. God uh, sent manna to the people. A deaf man was healed, a dead man was raised, all kinds of miracles. Every day, believe it, you see a miracle in your life. Every time I touch the hand of a baby, it's a miracle. Every time I take a morsel of food and put it in my mouth and chew it, and my body digests it and uses the energy from it, it is a Miracle. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Every moment in our life is a miracle. So, we have to give thanks to the Lord who has given us an opportunity to live in this world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. You know that the, you know which is the greatest gift that we have received? Hello? Hello? Eh? Okay, I get it. Jesus Christ. The greatest gift is Jesus Christ, our Savior. All the things we have accumulated on this earth will be taken out of our hands. The only thing 
we are going to carry with us when we depart from this world is eternal life. Hallelujah. We have received an eternal life through Jesus Christ. That is the greatest gift that we have received and we have to give, God, give thanks to God for that wonderful, great gift. Hallelujah. You know, let me show you uh, uh, short statistics. Do you know that two-thirds of the world goes to bed hungry every night? Hmm. In our world, 1.5 billion people leave us less than $16 per month. 90 million people leave less than $16 per month. Dear brothers and sisters, how much we have to be thankful to our God. Hallelujah. We have a tendency, including myself, to complain for anything and everything. Listen to this one. Dr. David Robin, uh, Robbins, he, you know, written like this one. I used to think that people complained because they had a problem. But I have found that people have problems because they Complain. Complaining is not going to make your situations better. On the other hand, complaining is going to make your situation worse. You know, I can show you from the word of God, Psalm 77, 3, we read like this one. Psalmist says, I complained and my spirit was overwhelmed. Dear brothers and sisters, complaining is going to make your situations not better, it is going to make your situations worse. Do you like to hear a story? There was a dog, and the name of the dog was called Snoopy. And Snoopy was complaining about being a dog, and on a Thanksgiving day, and Snoopy noticed that everybody eating what? Turkey. Okay. And he was complaining. I am a dog, that's why I cannot eat turkey with these human beings, you know. Finally, this dog Snoopy saw the good side of it. At least, I am not a turkey, other would have been, I would have been in the place of these people. <laughs> so you have to look always the other side, there is always an other side, hallelujah. Somebody said like this, very interesting. I am thankful for the taxes I pay. Who wants to pay taxes? Nobody wants to pay tax. Nobody is happy to pay taxes. I am thankful for the taxes I pay because it means that I am employed. <laughs> then somebody said I have to pay a huge heating bills. And he said I have huge heating bills because it means that during winter time I was warm. Praise the Lord. Look at the bright side always. You know, I don't have that much time. I'm going fast. You know Paul? Okay. There's a Paul in the Old Testament. He was tall, you know. I'm talking about a Paul in the New Testament. Apostle Paul. Apostle Paul, do you know that Apostle Paul always begins most of the letters in Bible with the word thanksgiving. To the church of Romans, he write like this one. First, I thank my God for all of you. When he writes to Corinthians, he says, I always thank God for you. When he writes to Ephesians, he says, I have not stopped giving thanks for you. When he writes to Philippians, he says, I thank God every time I remember you. He always salute the people with the word I thank God, I thank God, I thank God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. As I said, complaining is not going to make your life better. On the other hand, thanksgiving is going to make your life better and better. Do everything without complaining and arguing. Develop a daily discipline of thanksgiving. And you have to thank the word Thank you for Jesus. In Malayalam, you have to say, Stotram for everything. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 
and uh, somebody said like this one, you have to create a journal or a file in your computer where you have to list all the things that God has done for you and you have to call that file praise file. Hallelujah. Try thanksgiving. It will change our thinking. It will change our life. Hallelujah. Quit complaining. Try thanksgiving. If you keep on giving thanks to God, doesn't matter the situation is worse, the situation does not look good, keep on saying stotra or thanksgiving, it is going to change your life, guarantee. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. On this Thanksgiving day, I just want to repeat that. Quit complaining, try thanksgiving. May God bless you. Thank you very much.